Welcome back. Today we will talking about biomedical data visualization and processing using Mavis Lab tool. Mavis Lab is open source, very complex integrated development environment. It's extensible by your extra scripts written with the C++ or Python and it's provide a huge amount of ready to use blocks, ready to use uh, tools uh, to visualize and process complex medical data like DICOM, D-I-C-O-M data uh, generated by computer tomography, MRI and so on. First of all, to demonstrate us and capabilities of this application, we can navigate to the official website, into the download section, uh, select appropriate version of installer depending on operational system and download it. We can download that installer, ins run it, install into our operational system, and run it. Mavis Lab. Or just select it into your start menu. Or using desktop link. We can skip our invitational window and to be familiar we can navigate to the help and pro to get some skills we can navigate to the help show context menu and we can navigate to the getting started page and we can see some explanation about syntax, about visual programming, what is Mavis Lab itself and I recommend you focus on your focus your attention on chapter number three, chapter number four and chapter number five. Let's consider. Chapter number three it's ex our exercise number one. Chapter number four it's our exercise number two and chapter number five it's exercise number three respectively. If you follow this guide you can see very detailed step by step highly illustrated guide how to perform each task. It's a basic approaches and so on. And the same for chapter number four. So let's start from the exercise number one. Just we can just build a simple visualizer of DCOM data. For example, we can create a file new project, save it somewhere, Ctrl S to save or file, file, save. Next move, we can find uh, such necessary block like image loader. It could be image loader or local image depending on your version. For example, just start typing piece of phrase of your interest and select appropriate your block. For example, image load. Allocate it in more convenient place and let's to search down another one. For example, some viewer view 3D Allocate it and view 3D respectively. 
we can make interconnection between that block. So there are a uh, few types of this block. Basic or, basic or system, uh, some more complex, containing a few simple blocks, and some output blocks like viewers, and so on. As you can see, each block uh, can represent some function for us, where each snap point its arguments of our function. And this triangular one, it's a uh, must have one. And all other are optional. So let's specify a destination folder of our image. Double click to open option menu and Use auto load option and browse for our resources. And specify a full path for some, for example, decom image. For example, some file with extension of DCM. We can sort it by data type and select some MRI DCM MRI head DCM just for example select this and open it's auto loaded or we can press load file once more and close it Double click to open 2D viewer and there is basic functions present here. We can use mouse wheel to change slices and we can see right press and move to change brightness. Double click on view 3D and we can see a 3D representation of our MRI DCOM image. So let's consider exercise number one is completed. We can allocate these windows like this. Make print screen and just for example allocate into the report file. So what's about exercise number two? Let's back to the exercise number two. It's and chapter number four. So if we follow this guide, chapter number four, we can make we can create uh, this program as well just we can follow this guide step by step just for example we can see and capabilities of this project we can just open ready to use project And we can see a canonical implementation of the convolution approach. We can see a block of convolution with a 3x3 three three average kernel to smooth our image. We can make, we can apply another kernel as well to make this uh, smooth degree to increase it or decrease it as well. There is morphology block where we can specify another condition and arithmetical block 
what provide and technique of subtract subtract both this so we can see the same we can switch our slices by mouse wheel and we have synchronization between these two windows input and output and don't forget to specify a destination folder to your DCM file double click and specify destination folder of DCM file DCOM file and we can play with kernels for example we can increase smoothing as we can see it's very very smoothed like this or we can apply another approach for example Sobel to make its contrast to highlight a contrast contours with deeper or shallow approaches just for example depending on variant number variant for example one three and so on can use some average technique variant 2 4 and so on can use so Gaussian kernel or Laplacian and variants like 1 4 and so on can use this so well countering like this so what's about another exercise we can use our guide and talk about exercise number three it's a chapter number five it's a defining of region of interest abbreviature ROI so if we create program like this if we follow this guide step by step Step, step by step, step by step, we can create this program as result. Let's run it. So we don't forget to specify some DCM formatting of image, and we can see some region of interest highlighted use left click and drag to specify bounding box region of interest and you can use mouse wheel to specify ROI in another slice like this and you can use right click and drag to change brightness as well So, as you can see, Mavis Lab is very complex tool, and we have just a brief introducing to these capabilities because there are huge amount of capabilities there. Enjoy and good luck. See you next time.